Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to Real Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this episode, we're going to be looking at filters. In order to um, hear the effect of a filter, we need to start with a, a bright sound, and we're going to start with a sawtooth sound, a sawtooth oscillator. We're going to start with the phaser object. The phaser object will produce a sawtooth-like uh, waveform, but it will be just a unipolar waveform, so we'll need to just do a little bit of math to it to make it into a bipolar one. We take the input, multiply it by 2 and subtract 1, and that should do what we require. Then we'll add a volume control, put a number box there to control that volume, make it have a maximum of 1, and then we'll send that to the digital to analog converter both the left and the right channel. Right, so we turn our frequency up, turn our volume up, and there we have um, our sawtooth wave. So this will be um, a kind of bright sound that we can then apply our filter into a uh, sound with lots of um, overtones. You can see the spectra on the spectrum analyzer um, below. So there are a few standard types of filters which are found in synthesis and um, this is what we'll look at today. These are three of the most common. A low pass filter, which lets the low parts of the frequency go past what's underneath this red line and then filters out the highs. We can change this cutoff frequency point here to make it um, go further down and to only let fewer low signals go through, low harmonics go through and cut more. The high pass filter does the reverse of that. Again, it lets the high signals go past and then cuts the low frequencies and we have a cutoff point um, which can be swept higher or lower. The band pass filter does a little bit of both. Um, so it lets uh, through signals in the middle of the range in a particular band and then excludes the high frequencies and the low frequencies. And we can change the width of this band, uh, commonly called the Q, so that we get a very narrow band of frequencies which are less let past, or we can make that more uh, broad. So let's see how this is done in PD. We'll insert um, a filter and we'll start with the low pass filter. Um, and I'll give it an argument of a thousand, which means a thousand hertz, as a default um, cutoff frequency. Let's just remind ourselves what that sounds like before we put the filter in. Here's our raw sawtooth wave. If we insert the filter into the chain, then you can hear that we get a more dull sound because the low pass filter has filtered out some of the higher frequencies. The right inlet of the LOP object um, will take the um, filter cutoff uh, value. So when we put a value in here, it will override the 1000. So as we increase these numbers, we can now get a very low cutoff. 400 hertz and as we increase this we tend to let through more and more of the upper harmonics and we get a brighter and brighter sound. Now um, operating this from the, the mouse this number box is a little bit tedious for such big ranges so um, I will add a fader to make that a little bit more straightforward. So this is for frequencies, we might want to go from 0 hertz up to say 10,000 hertz. Um, and I can give it a label, a cutoff. Um, before I go any further, what I'm going to do is to change the parameter from linear to logarithmic by clicking there. Uh, this will mean that rather than have a straightforward change from the lowest frequency 
um, up to the highest with the middle point in this case being around 5000. Um, the logarithmic will have a kind of a curved mapping um, and it will mean that there's more um, resolution at the lower part of the range and less resolution at the upper part of the range. Uh, this suits the um, way in which um, frequencies work because they're not on a linear scale. So let's connect that in, turn the volume up and we can then use our slider to increase and decrease. So you'll see with the uh, logarithmic scaling when we're in the middle we actually get as far down as 260 hertz um, even though we've got a maximum up here of 10,000 but you can probably hear it sounds still quite natural. So that's our low pass filter. We can replace the low pass filter with instead a high pass filter. Other things remain the same, the cutoff frequency is still here and this is what this sounds like. So you can hear that it's a much thinner sound and as we move the cutoff frequency, as we get higher and higher and higher, we're removing more and more and more of the low frequency sounds and just letting through the high frequency buzz. So the high frequency, high pass filter rather, takes out the low frequencies and interestingly in acoustic instruments things like a bell on a trumpet or a French horn or a trombone um, perform a similar um, acoustic function as a high pass filter. So this is useful for emulating those kinds of brass sounds. The other third type of filter we mentioned before was a band pass filter and in PD it's a BP object. Uh, the bandpass filter takes two arguments, the cutoff frequency and also the bandwidth or the Q. So let's listen to what that sounds like. So it has a little bit more of a nasally kind of tone than the other filters and that's because um, we're emphasizing a particular range of frequencies as we go up. In addition to um, being able to vary the cutoff, of course we've got this Q and if we put another number box there to vary that, um, it needs some sort of fairly small numbers so I'll just make this change like so. Turn it off. As we increase this number we make the bandwidth smaller and narrower and narrower and so we get a more nasally, even more resonant kind of effect. Like so. We're just letting through just a small band of frequencies and cutting out most of them. And so that uh, is like formants for vocal sounds or um, resonance points in other sounds. In many uh, subtractive synthesizers like this, where we start with a bright sound and we subtract frequencies using a filter, um, we often use a resonant low pass filter. Um, a resonant low pass filter can be visualized kind of like this. This is our low, low pass filter with our cutoff around, in this case, around 1000 hertz. Um, and in addition to the low pass filter kind of operating in it, there's also um, this notion of a band pass filter which is then amplified to increase the frequencies around where the cutoff is. Um, this is called a resonant point and um, it's a combination in a sense we can make it as a combination of a low pass filter and a band pass filter. Uh, typically it's called a resonant low pass filter um, in synthesizers. Uh, PD has a resonant low pass filter um, which uh, is called the VCF. Um, the VCF stands for voltage controlled filter, um, a sort of a throwback to analog synthesis days. Um, and you'll notice um, that the voltage control filter has two outlets. The outlet on the left hand side is actually a bandpass, so I'll label it so we're clear. The bandpass output comes out there and out the left outlet the low pass signal filtered signal comes out here. So we're going to want both of those um, together and I'll pull this back a little bit for the minute. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. 
Turn the volume down a bit. You'll notice that we're getting some clipping. That's because we're summing together these two signals. So I need to turn the gain down. So we're getting both the low pass cutoff and, and with some resonance. As I increase this resonance amount, we get an increased amount of that resonant sound and if I turn that down then we get less of the resonance but we still maintain our low pass filter cutoff. So there's just one more filter in PD for us to have a look at. It's also a resonant low pass filter. It's called Bob. Bob just takes uh, one argument and um, the Bob filter is also a resonant low pass filter uh, modeled after the latter filter that was found in the Moog synthesizers um, and so because they were created by Robert Moog hence the term Bob so let's have a listen to what this one sounds like so again you hear that it's a low pass filter and then as we increase the resonance we get that uh, resonant, classic resonant low pass filter sound we can increase the resonance even further so we're getting quite a pronounced resonance um, in that sound as we go so there's um, an overview of the filters in PD. Um, have a go at that and see which ones you prefer and I will catch you in the next video.